Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. It's 11:30 a.m. in Miss Molly Land. Welcome to the show. Uh, we have an awesome special for you guys today. We are doing our Gamer Grub special instead of Saturday night. We're going to do it Sundays. Um, so today we are making a Beauty and the Beast themed uh, show. So we are doing a beef ragu, the ragu that we started with. Uh, the Arab Bro, thank you. Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the family. Pull out the chair. Um, yes, so we are doing Beauty and the Beast theme. So we're doing the beef ragu that we started yesterday in the slow cooker. So we'll finish that off. We also have some cheese souffle that I've never made before. So I'm very nervous and excited. Um, I have done some Googling, so watch some videos. And then we are going to do some cookie dough, uh, cookies and cream cheesecake. Uh, with that grey stuff. So firstly before we go into today's show we're going to go back to yesterday for the people that missed it and explain what we did. Alright so I was a little bit hungry because I hadn't had breakfast so I made some salmon and avocado crackers to nibble on but I didn't end up nibbling on them. I ate them after the show anyway. We made some quinoa and chocolate brownies. Gluten free food has a lot of a bad stigma so I wanted to make something delicious and oh man, they're so good, so moist. And some apple and um, apple coffee cake. Uh, I needed some snacks for work, and I wanted something a little bit, mm, a little bit of a sweet tooth um, in the afternoon. So I like to have something like some cake or something, but not too much sugar and not too much carbohydrates. So I've made, and I still have some here, this nibble on today. Um, some gluten-free. So the quinoa brownies are obviously quinoa based and then the coffee cake is an almond flour based with some fresh almond, um, fresh walnuts and fresh apple slices on top and man they were good. And we started our beef ragu off. Um, I just want to say thank you to, for all the bits and the follows guys yesterday and really the donations are much appreciated go towards um, keeping our stream alive, buying our groceries every week and keep Miss Molly making. So I really, really thank you to BRZT for that beautiful donation um, and the follows everybody. And we're gonna have some fun today. So welcome everybody. Oh my gosh, now I can see chat. Hello, C Brown. Thank you and Molly for all the support you are giving me. Oh, C Brown, really thank you. Oh, you don't need to say thank you to us. We love seeing you every time, every, really every stream you're here. Um, and thank you for the support. Sammy, hello. Hello, everybody. I am very excited for today's show. And we didn't do a show last night. I didn't feel great. And also, we've had some issues with our internet. Um, our data was nearly about to cap. So we didn't want to risk it doing a stream and then having to stop it halfway through. So our uh, internet has reset for the month. So whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, Australian internet is a little bit different to the US and the UK. We have data limits and during the week we bought 100 gigabyte and we nearly capped ourselves. So I'm going to move to the US so I get good internet like you guys. Fast internet. All right. The most loved streamer and stream at the same time. Oh, Sammy, thank you. Well, I'm going to make you all, all of you hungry. We're going to start off with our cookies and cream cheesecake. So, I'll bring over the ingredients. I've had some extra time to prep it all. So we'll go down to the prep station. Okay, so the base of the super hello, and your, and your NVR internet, yes. Um, okay, so these are just chocolate biscuits. You can use Oreos, I suppose, um, or any chocolate biscuit you have, just take, Take out the, the cream layer in the cookie, cookies, if you um, depending on what you use. But these are called Ripple, and there's a few missing because Exceed asked me to open the packet. I cut it open pre-stream because he was hungry. Um, so these are just chocolate biscuits. We are going to blend the, uh, the cookies or the biscuits um, with some melted butter. So I have that there. And then our cream cheese middle is made from cream cheese some sugar an egg and that's not supposed to be that's mine for later and then we're going to bake the cheesecakes and then once they're cool we're going to make 
some grey, some grey stuff, if everybody knows their um, Beauty and the Beast. Um, with whipped cream, some vanilla, vanilla powder, some icing sugar, and then we're going to do some more of the, the cookies through throughout. So it's going to be delicious, okay? So I'm just drinking some OJ, because it's still, it's still morning, just about, just about afternoon, but, oh, I have the hiccups, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get started. I have the food processor down here. Do, do, do. How is everyone this morning, this afternoon? Okay, food processor in here. We've just got the blend attachment, so that we've got the nice sharp attachment. We're gonna put these cookies in. We're gonna put all of them in because we want them for our base. We want them for our uh, cream cheese, and then we want a little bit extra also for the topping. Okay. So I'm going to, oh, little, my food processor has this little thing that broke off and I've just bought it so I need to take it back. And because it, it comes off, it's got a big crack in it. It's got a crack, so I've got to take it back to the shop. I'm not happy, not happy, Jen. All right, so we're gonna do some blitzing. That means muting and I promise I will unmute you guys if I remember. Can you hear me now? Every time, every bloody time. Sorry guys. Okay, what I did. So I scooped a portion out. One day I'll get it. I think the button's just broken. It says that it's unmuted and then it mutes itself. So I've taken some, about a third. Khalid, hello. Um, can you hear me now? So I've taken a third of the, the cookies out. I put one tablespoon of melted butter. And as I was saying, you guys didn't hear me, but I was really worried that our butter would unmelt and would like all get cold because it's so cold here in Melbourne, but it's a warmer day. And thankfully it's still melted. So we're gonna blend one more time and I promise I'll be more wary of the unmute. You guys can hear me now. Y'all can hear me. Cool. So I just had to put a little bit of extra butter because I used a different amount of cookies. I use more cookies than necessary. So, 
Um, what you need to do, though, I'll let you know, is if you need to add more butter, it's because you want the texture to be like sand now. See how it's kind of sticking together more? You want it to be able to, when you press it in, it stays together. Okay? So just add a little bit more butter, maybe a teaspoon at a time, until you get the right consistency. We're going to take that off. It is Sunday for me, so tomorrow is the stream, and yes, Khalid, we are going to, we changed our stream plan because we didn't stream last night, so what we're going to do is now do the Arabic stream on Wednesday, so Wednesday at uh, midday, so about this time on Wednesday. I have to um, finalise that with Exceed. But we've changed our, our streaming schedule a little bit. We're not sure if it's permanent. We're just going to play with a few things. So I'm mixing that around, guys. See how it's sticking together? That's how you want it. Nice, 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 nice. And then I'm going to do some cute square, square cheesecake. So I have a square tin. Little baby squares. You shouldn't... Because if you've got the butter in here, it won't really stick. But I like to be really, really sure. And what you want to do is spoon in here. You can make one big cheesecake if you like. You can make babies like me. <gasps> oh no! Wednesday for you, so Thursday for me. Mm, I'm in Australia, so it's Sunday here for me as well. Sunday, 11.40 a.m. So I think you're still behind me, Khalid. All right, so then just push them down. You want, don't want them too full. So maybe, let's see, let's see how many tablespoons we need. You want them maybe a third of the way fill, but depends how everybody likes their cheesecake a little bit different. A lot of people like, you know, more um, more cream cheese than base, or if you like a chunky base, it's up to you. So I'm not going to say do this, do that. But I would say about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half for me. I was gonna have the recipe, but I didn't think it would make too many. But look, it's made a lot. It's made a lot. Yes, Wednesday for the both of us. Aha, hello. Aha, fish. How are you? Ara? Is it Ara? Ara fish? I don't know. I'm really bad at pronouncing people's names. It's something I need to get better, better at. Khalid, I haven't, I haven't finalised the dessert yet, but I'm still, still looking. All right. So just pushing in here. I prefer to use a spoon. Whipped it around. I prefer to use a spoon just because it's nice and flat, and then I also don't get it on my fingers. And the spoon can kind of get in the little corners. This little one. So we nearly made a dozen. So I preheated the oven, guys, to 180 degrees Celsius. Um, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once we bake these, we're going to take them out. Then we're going to lower the temperature to 325 uh, degrees Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. Sorry, so like 140 degrees Celsius, because we want to cook the the cheesecake slowly. Nearly done. Yeah. 
If I just had those three cookies that Exceed took, then we could make this one. <laughs> One less cheesecake for Exceed, right? Arha, arha, arha. Okay. So just check if my oven. Oven's on. Oh, Gucci. Just make sure it's all. All patted down. Oh, good. And then there's a few little crumbs. Mm, yum. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in here because we're going to make the cream cheese in there. Okay. Clean your bench. I need to get some sleep before tomorrow and I wanted to come say hi and I'm glad that I came because now I know the stream is on Wednesday. Yes. Make sure we will um, keep you updated with our Twitter. And everybody, not just Khalid, our Twitter, our Discord, and our Instagram, that's where we post most of our stuff. Um, and updates with the stream are usually on Discord. So join our Discord and join our community. All right, in the oven, they're gonna go into the oven until they're, for about five minutes, until they're a little bit crunchy. All right, let's get started with the cream cheese. So it doesn't matter that there's still crumbs because we're going to put crumbs in there anyway. Okay. Okay, we have cream cheese. Where's my spoon? Oh, blub. Uh, this is a baked cheesecake, but you can always do a version with um, some gelatin or just cream cheese and some cream um, and non-baked cheesecake and they're just as good. Sometimes I prefer non-baked, but one day I will make, I, I call it, my mum calls it my famous cheesecake, but cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough cheesecake. It is the bomb and it's very, very, it's very Moorish, but it's it's very rich, so you only want a very small slice. So we make it at Christmas and then we keep it in the fridge and we just like devour it over a few days and everybody just like nibbles away at it. It's really delicious. Mm. Okay, for the filling, 12 ounces or it's about 350 grams of cream cheese. Make sure. have half of a cup of sugar. If you didn't want to use white sugar, you could use some coconut sugar. Um, you could always use some like maple syrup or other sweetener if you like. Um, but you don't want the consistency to be too runny. So something like bulk up, add a, maybe two more teaspoons of the cream cheese. If you're going to use um, some sweetener, um, or you could just use stevia as well. So to make sure that it's the same thickness, add a little bit more cream cheese to make it the same consistency. All cool. And then we're going to add one egg. Is that it? Do I need to add anything else? Some vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. This is vanilla powder. If you didn't have vanilla powder, you're going to use half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half to one. Sometimes I, I like to use twice as much. I like vanilla. I like vanilla. There is. Now we're going to blend Papa Choppa. You changed your colour. Welcome back. Where's my little bit? My little bit's missing. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to mute it, guys, and then uh, Exceed's going to put the music on, okay? And 
we're done. Okay, so quite thin liquidy, but we're going to take it off, move this away. Okay. Take the blade out. So you can use chunks of cookies, but I didn't leave the cookies in big pieces, so we've just blended them. It's all good. What we're gonna do is put some of these crushed cookies in there. And mix it around. Yum! Yum, 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 yum. Papa, how are we all? We are good. Started our stream. Okay, so we've got our cookies in there. And then in a few minutes, we're gonna take out the, the cheesecake base. We're gonna to top it with this, cook it. So we're gonna turn down the temperature in the oven to about 325 or 100 and 150 degrees Celsius. Turn it down, pop the mixture on top, bake it in the oven. And we're going to, mm, what does it say? 15 to 18 minutes, so 15 to 20 minutes. Until it's solidified and then we're gonna put it in the fridge. Uh, and once it's cool, we're going to make some uh, cream with the rest of this cookie and we're going to pipe it on top, make it look all pretty. Okay, just gonna taste this. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. All right, so we'll put that aside just for a few minutes. Okay. I'm gonna bring over this and we're gonna show you the slow cooked beef. Been cooking for about six or seven hours. So we're going to take some of this uh, liquid out, and we're going to reduce it and make a really nice sauce. But I want to show you this meat. Look how good that is guys, slow cooked. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. So we're going to kick that in there. I'm going to take some of the, the sauce out and we're going to reduce that. Might leave the meat here. Let me have a taste. Mm. Okay. I'll go over how we did it yesterday. If you want to um, see how we did it, our stream is on YouTube. So check out the video of how we did it, but I'll show you the ingredients. So we've got here um, two pounds or about 900 grams of rump roast. And then uh, we've added, let me make sure, two cups of red wine, two cups of red wine, some olive oil, uh, 50 grams or about four rashes of bacon. Um, we've added an onion, two to three garlic cloves, um, and that's it. I've put some baby carrots in there as well after the stream. So we're gonna take them out. You've got bacon in there. Uh, we've made a bouquet garni, or I've made my own tea bag. It looks a bit gross at the moment. But in there you've got three, three bay leaves. We have some parsley as well as some, um, was it parsley? Parsley thyme and bay leaves, yeah. And we'll put them in here so you can just take them out like that. So I'm going to, in a minute, strain this liquid out. We are then going to reduce it down in a saucepan, make it really thick, and then pour it over and then shred our, shred our meat. But first, we are going to make some delicious mashed potato to serve with it, okay? To serve with it, oh, I might actually do it now. Where is my saucepan? A fry pan. So when reducing, you want a, a saucepan or a fry pan that has a more surface area. It'll 
reduce faster if you've got more surface area so it can evaporate faster. Fun tip for you all. I do this because it's much easier than pouring. This is a really heavy crock pot. We'll bring some carrots over. And then we've got some beef stock. We used about two cups of beef stock in here as well, everybody. You could do this in the slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker, just a big pot and then put it on really low heat for about five, five hours, four or five hours. But the longer the better, I think. Can you see some bacon? Bacon in there. Yum, 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 yum. I think that'll do. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I need some more carrots. I need some more carrots. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Might be better just for me to pick them out, actually. Bit time consuming. Okay. And then we're going to thicken, you can reduce it over time as well. But we're going to add some corn flour, or you could add a little bit of flour if you want. And just make sure that you cook it off so you're still heating. It means when someone says cook off the flour, this means continue to heat whatever you're cooking, um, you've added the flour to, so that it um, cooks the flour. Oh. Alright, we're going to go to the stove. Just check. Yeah, carrots are still a bit crunchy. You take this time just to push it down a little bit. It's not ideal that it's next to my meat, but what I'm going to do is get some aluminium foil and cover this meat. Take off this little back slab of a little bit of fat from the surface of the beef. Usually it just slides off. There we go. Oh, there's nothing better than slow cooked meat. It just makes your house smell amazing. All right, so in there, wrap it up. Wrap it up, keep it warm. Put this away. Quickly wipe down the beach. I'm sorry I didn't stream last night, guys. Just changing up our schedules, but having issues with internet is the worst. I wasn't allowed to stream anything or watch anyone on Twitch for the last few days. Okay. Now, where is that? There it is. Cheesecake mixture. Cheesecake shop. We want to scoop this in here. Okay. 
Yum. Just pushing it out so it all fits. Papa, how are you today? How is everyone this afternoon, this evening? What time is it, C. Brown, what time is it in Philly today? Saturday night? Mm. We're supposed to be going hiking today and it's a nice sunny day so to make sure we get some vitamin D for going for a hike. This, this place called A Thousand Steps. It's a Kokoda Memorial, if anyone knows where Kokoda is in Papua New Guinea. It's a memorial to all the soldiers that died. There's a thousand steps. I heard that it's to even get to the steps, it's like a trek itself and you get tired. So I'm a little bit nervous. But Exceed and I vowed that we need to get a little bit more active. Did everyone have a good Saturday? Or is having a good Saturday? Alright. See, Brian, you're studying this weekend or are you having some time off? Clean this up. We've turned the oven down to so 325. I said yes. 325 degrees for you guys. 150 for me. Nice low oven. Because these are little, they're going to cook much faster than a, a big, a big cheesecake. So we're going to keep our eye on them. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, starting now. All right. So we're going to make our mash, get our mash on. And then the big scary part, we're gonna start, start the cheese souffle. I'm so nervous. Okay. So I have a saucepan, three potatoes, not making too much. Oh, I think we should peel them. We'll be good and we'll peel them. Be good, be good. Right. Oh, so I'm very excited. I didn't tell you guys. So we've been putting some of our photos on Reddit. And we've been getting so much positives you know, feedback and everyone's loving the photos. But Exceed had put up our Swedish meatballs in r slash food. And it went to number one in r slash food. And there's so many people in there. It got, Exceed, can you, is it around? I think nearly 8,000 upvotes on our little meatballs. Little meatballs from from little old Melbourne. So I'm very, very chuffed with that. I was, every night before I was going to bed, I was refreshing and it was going up and up and up. And it, when we went to bed, it was about 3.4 thousand. And when we woke up, it was nearly eight. So it's very exciting. Oh, seven two, okay. Um, but it's, because it's old, old news now. It was 24 hours ago, it's getting, going down. So this morning we woke up and it was about three, or four in um, r slash food but we hit number one guys i'm very chuffed so it's giving us some exposure i think and we had all these even the swede swedish people saying that it would look good i got some some negative nancy's saying that you know the meatballs were too big or the meatballs were too small when it was quite funny because they got shut down quite fast you know i think it's really nice when you know people don't put up with negativity. They just 
throwing jokes about it and yeah. It's good. It's good. I'm very, very lucky that I haven't really had a lot of negativity, you know. You get that odd, odd troll every now and then, but you know, we're creating a uh, a nice community and we're still a very, very small stream. So I suppose it will come, but I'm, I'm happy where we are at the moment. You know, getting some lovely people, lovely people in chat. I actually might get one more potato. Do that. Chat's very quiet today. Everyone's just watching. Okay. Saturday night in the US. Saturday, Sunday afternoon here. Just trying out some new times. Has anyone seen the new Beauty and the Beast? It's not really new anymore, but has anyone seen Beauty and the Beast? Or liked the original? Disney movies are my fave. Okay, four potatoes now. Okay. Have some more OJ. So we're making mash, so we want to cook quite fast, the faster you cook it, uh, the faster you want it to cook, the smaller pieces. We're going to put this in the saucepan with some cold water. I love the original but did not really get into the new one, but my girlfriend loved the new one. Ooh. Marky boy, hello, welcome back. We are making some potato mash to go with our beef ragu. Slow cooked beef. Who doesn't love beef? Who doesn't like anything slow cooked? Oh my gosh. Um, Arha, so I was hoping that we could see the new one before this stream, but we have had issues all week with our internet, so Exceed wasn't able to get it for us, to download it, so. That's a bit sad. I have to get it for this week. And now we've reset. So we're just chopping our potatoes quite small, guys, because we want it to cook quite fast. And I've sharpened my knives there. It's like butter. Going through butter. Butter. Oh, I just nicked myself. Oh, how, how come you didn't like it? Why didn't you like the new one? Okay, into the saucepan, and there was a lot of contention. There was a lot of you know disagreements last night on the Reddit post that we put up with our Swedish meatballs about mashed potato. And tragic, I cheated and just stream it for free. Mm. Where do you do that? Where do you stream it for free? Uh, yeah, there was a lot of contention about how do you make the best mashed potato. And I said it's all about the potato that you use. This one, this brand of potato is called a Red Royal. Um, there's one in Australia called Ruby Lou or Royal Blue. And it's like a really starchy potato that I find makes the best mash. And you boil it with some uh, cold water. I find just cold water. And then Add some salt to the water. I've been told it breaks down the starch and makes it taste better. Um, and then you mash it with some butter and some cream. So that's the way I make my mashed potatoes and I like them. Sometimes you can add a little bit of cheese too. So let's go over to the stove, check on the, the sauce for our beef ragu. It's just reducing, this is the way I like to do it. Okay, I'm gonna put that on there. All right, and we're gonna thicken 
the beef sauce. The new one wasn't anything new, same song, storyline, just with people I didn't care about. Yeah. I think that's... Sometimes with the remakes of movies, they either... It's a good thing that they create a new story, or sometimes people just like the, you know, the original story, so sometimes they just can't get it right. I like the cartoon vision in my head. Yeah. Um, I went to see Aladdin. A, the, the first stream we did, the first stream we did on Miss Molly Makes, that night we went and saw Aladdin um, at the theatre. And it was really amazing, really, really good. And they changed the story, which was really nice. Um, but they didn't take out the great bits, you know, the magic carpet or, um, you know, the best bits of the movie, you know, the ones that people come to see that, you know, they've got a clear picture of it in their head. So, I like that. Okay, so this is some corn flour. I've just added some water. We're just going to put it in here. We're going to stir it around to thicken it. And what you can do is you can add a little bit more red wine if you like. Um, sometimes I add another half a cup of red wine just to make it a little bit stronger because of the flavour, the red wine flavour has uh, flavoured the meat. The meat will take, taste like red wine, but you also want a little bit extra flavour in the sauce. So that's thickening up nicely. Add in maybe a quarter of a cup of red wine because that's all I have left. Oh wow. Is that a green screen in your kitchen? It is. Slim Jim, welcome to Miss Molly Makes. It is a green screen. We've had a window in our kitchen that was really, really annoying for natural light. And doing the day streams like this was really hard because you'd have the sun coming in and everything was terrible. So, I'll show you. We made our own green screen. Um, we need to change it a little bit every now and then we need to fix it, but it's very, very cool. It does some awesome things. <gasps> That's my timer. Hey Google, turn off timer. We'll check our cheesecakes. Hey Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Yeah, it's sure, very cool. 10 minutes, and here we go. Uh, we like to theme some of our shows. So we do, today is Gamer Grub where we make themed food um, based on pop culture, movies, games. So today is Beauty and the Beast. Last week, what did we do? We did Game of Thrones, and then we've also done um, some Wonder Woman themed food. So we made some um, cupcakes and some food themed for the, the release of the new movie. And we like to have a lot of fun with it. We, you know, food shouldn't be boring. It should be a lot of fun. And we also do themed cuisine. On Mondays and Fridays, we usually do um, themed cuisine. So on Friday, we went to Sweden and we had some cool things on the green screen. And, sorry, just turned off the stove. Um, we did Sweden. Uh, we've changed it now, we're gonna do it on Wednesday. We're doing Arabic food this week. And we're also doing, we're going to Chicago. We're gonna make some Chicago deep dish next Friday. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get our meat out. I'm gonna bring this over here. We're gonna add the prep. We're gonna add our meat into the sauce. So that is the sauce. And where is my my plate? So this is slow cooked beef that we've cooked in this sauce. And then I've taken it out and thickened it. Slow cooked beef. It's been in the slow cooker for about um, six or seven hours. And then you should be able to get two forks. Here you go. And just break it apart like that. And you just want some nice pieces. You want to take out the little pieces of fat. And 
And slow cooking is so easy. You can just whack it on in the morning um, before you go to work and then come home. Your house smells amazing. Look at this, guys. Whack it on, come home and your house smells amazing. I usually do it with some lamb and you just use uh, a tin of tomatoes, fill it up with some um, stock, and Moroccan spices, um, some pureed tomatoes, and then I always use passata as well, just like a Italian crushed tomato sauce. And then you come back after five or six hours, or for me, 10 hours at work, and the house smells incredible. And it's so tender and delicious. I'm just going to take a photo of that one. So juicy. So juicy. You want to slow cook it? Oh, see, brown. They're really cheap. And they're really, really low cost um, when it comes to running them. Oh, this one's a bit chunky. Um, low cost when it comes to running because they low on electricity. And you're keeping all the nutrients when it comes to making, say, a bone broth with like a stock. You're cooking it really slowly and taking out all the nutrients from the bones and things like that. So it's a better way of cooking. this up again I know it doesn't look great oh but it smells amazing <laughs> guys they're probably delicious might make this sauce, uh, sauce a little bit redder add some more red wine okay now is the scary time. We're going to try and make a cheese souffle. Give me two seconds. I'm going to add some tomato as well, just to make the sauce a little bit more red. Play time. Scary, scary, Miss Molly. So I've heard some horror stories about cheese souffle, about them, you know, falling in the oven and, you know, deflating. But I've watched so many YouTube videos that I think we can do it. I think we can do it, guys. So I'll bring over the ingredients. Okay. So... We have here make sure I have it right because we want to do it correctly we have four eggs we're going to use four egg yolks and four egg whites we're going to separate them we have some butter butter here we're going to use a quarter cup of butter quarter cup of flour we have one cup of milk um, and then two cups of cheese. So this is cheddar cheese, Australian cheddar. I know in the US the cheddar's a different colour. Um, and then we've got some parmesan and some Dijon mustard. Okay. Um, and then these are the little ramekins we're going to prepare them in. So, and we're going to use these ones as well. Um, so I've been watching videos and they can say, you can make a souffle in any container, so it doesn't have to be a specific you know, souffle container like this. 
for making this. You just, Demi, hello. You just ate a burrito from 7-Eleven. Your stomach is busted. Oh, honey, you always seem to be eating the wrong things. All right, all right, all right. We are going to be using a saucepan. What we're going to do is put the butter and the flour in there. Where is my spatula? I'm going to have to clean the one I used before. How are you, Demi? You're horrible. Oh, no. Maybe you shouldn't eat food from 7-Eleven. I've never found some, any good food from there. Okay, so a quarter of a cup of butter. I've melted this butter. Butter and plain flour, quarter cup in there. Uh, we're going to use the mustard. How much mustard? Quarter of a teaspoon. My teaspoons are gone. Hi, hey, Romeo. Quarter of a teaspoon of mustard. Just some. Well, Debbie, we're making a cheese souffle, so if you don't like cheese, it's not making you feel good. So you can add some, some pepper in there. I'm going to heat that, but first I'm going to show you how to prepare these moulds. So what we're going to do, we'll take this away. Take this away. So you've got your different, different ramekins in here. And what you do is just brush it with butter. We brush it with butter, we refrigerate it until it goes cold. We brush it with butter again and then we flour the moulds. It's from... Uh oh, eggs out. What do you mean? Super, what do you mean by that? Hey Google, turn off alarm. Better check on our cheesecakes. Okay, so butter them. Put them in the fridge, so I'm going to put them on a little tray. I'm going to put them in this cute little tray. Put them in the fridge, or if you are in a hurry, put them in the freezer. I'm going to heat this. Oh, oh, Demi, you being sick. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Alright, we're going to stir this chicken. I mean, it's time for to souffle battle, yes. The eggs are out. <gasps> Alright, so super and everybody, I watched some videos last night and it gave me some tips and tricks on how to do souffle. So what you're doing now is we've got some mustard, some butter, and also our flour, we put a bit of pepper in there as well. This is the start of a roux. So we're just using flour and butter and we're going to cook it. And then we're slowly going to add some milk and thicken that to make a nice sauce. Oh, the cheesecakes. Can't forget the cheesecakes. Guys, let me 
let me just make sure with my recipe. Oh. Yeah, they look good. All right, back to the... Pay attention, Molly, one thing at a time. So, see how you're gonna cook the flour in here? Cooking the flour, it's got a bit of mustard in there, that's why it's giving it the beautiful color. But you wanna thicken, thicken it. And we're cooking the flour, so cooking the gluten and the cooking everything, make it nice. All right, these cheesecakes are looking good. Oh, yum! They look good. They just smell good. I want to eat them. All right, we're going to slowly add the one cup of milk, everybody. And you make sure you want don't have any lumps. So you want to. Slowly add it and see how it's starting to thicken. Turn down the temp a little bit. Oh, damn, Molly. Oh! Oh my god! My spatula just snapped. Oh my goodness. We're gonna swap to a whisk. Molly, everything's breaking this week. Last week, my. Oh my goodness. My measuring spoons broke last week. I'm gonna stop buying cheap shit. All right, so we got the spatula. This is from the same company, so hopefully this one doesn't break as well. Whisking, and see how it's getting thicker. Thicker, thicker, thicker. All right, so we wanna just turn the heat off momentarily. And I'm just going to read you guys what you have to do. We've got our two cups of cheese here. We're using... My cup. This is why we can't have nice things. I <laughs> know. I just heard a snap came back. What happened? I'll show you what happened. Look at my spatula. It's so sad. It's my red one. My Miss Molly red. <gasps> hmm. Okay. Gradually pour cheese sauce over the... All right, all right, all right. So we'll go back here. These are our cheesecakes that have just come out of the oven. We're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna put them in the fridge, okay? And it doesn't matter what they look like on top because we're gonna pipe some cream on top. So I'm gonna pop them in the fridge and we're going to separate our eggs. We've got four eggs, everybody. We want them Four egg whites and four egg yolks. Excuse me, Remy. Okay. One, two. Miss Molly man handles another plastic utensil. Rest in peace. Yep. Okay. So because we are make, it's very, very important that you get no egg yolk in this bowl. Okay guys, really, really important. And I'm gonna show you a trick that I learned when it comes to preparing our, our mixer, but no egg yolks because the egg yolk or any oil in the, the containers that is mixed with the egg white, you don't want any oil because the oil is going to prevent the rising of, um, of the egg, yolk, egg white, sorry. So no oil, no oil. Here we go, four egg yolks. Four egg whites, we're gonna put the egg whites to the side. And we have our cheese. 
lots and lots of cheese. We want two cups of cheese. So I have some grated cheddar. What? That's Romeo. Grated cheddar and grated uh, parmesan. So we're going to do a combination of all. You can use any cheese you like. I prefer something with a little bit more bite. Uh, some parmesan. But you can do three cheeses, four cheeses. It's up to you. So. One cup. Spilling. Spilling the cheese, Molly. I just think a cheddar or a gruyere, something like that, adds a lot more flavour. I'm not going to put a whole cup in there. Yeah, that's enough. We're going to have this little bit of leftover. I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to do with it later. Put that aside. Put all this mess aside too. I'm going to go back to the stove and we're going to mix in the cheese with our sauce and the egg yolks, okay? Low heat again. And we're going to go in with the yolks first, four egg yolks. Yum. I don't want to put all of this in. I'm going to slowly add it. Slowly, slowly. Can't say that that doesn't look good. Look at that. It's just like cheese. All cheese. I'm just going to turn up the heat real quick just to make sure that all of the cheese is melted. And I'm going to poke these potatoes to see how they're going. Not really good, not yet. Okay. Turn off the heat, we're going to get some lemon. Get a lemon. If I can find my lemon. to the prep prep area do some more cleaning okay so this is the magic of the souffle this is going to be what makes it rise and makes it all fluffy but the key component to it is making your your egg whites rise sufficiently and effectively one of the things is making sure you have a super, super clean bowl uh, because we don't want any oil because oil affects the egg whites rising. It delays the, creates a chemical reaction um, with the oil and we don't want that to happen. So a trick that I learned is get lemon, squeeze the lemon juice in here and wipe out your bowl. Wipe out your bowl. So it's taking away all of the oils. To make sure there's no seeds in there. And we also want to wipe down the blade. So I've just squeeze a little bit of lemon onto the paper just so we can clean mixer and then four egg whites the egg whites that we had before four in there and we also want a little bit more a lemon juice just a tiny bit 
lemon juice or you can use um, cream of tartar, something that will help you just stabilize the egg yolks. You want to make sure that there's no, stabilize the egg whites so that they create a firm peak. And that goes in there. Just make sure I'm doing this all right. And we are, while I do this, so the cheese sauce, we want to cool it right down. So what I'm doing is a, a bowl. We're going to put some ice in there. This one in there, like that, so it's, it's in there. We might put more water. More water. And get the cheese sauce and put it in there. Oh, look how stringy it is, guys. Um, has anyone ever, other than Super, who else has made cheese souffle or any type of souffle before? Anyone? Has anyone eaten a souffle before? Oh, there's so much stringy cheese. Mmm. Yum. So that's just cooling the sauce down. And we're gonna whip this. So I'm gonna whip it until it's um, stiff peaks. So what we're gonna do is turn on the music, mute the mic, mic, mute the mic. Yeah, so the right the first time, and then uh, I'll let you back in. Alright, can you hear me? Can you see this? How? Mix it and it pulls away. So it's nearly enough. We're gonna whip it for a few more seconds. I'm gonna turn our oven up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want this so that it, it's called stiff peaks. A few more seconds. Doesn't matter. All right, so we'll put Kitty the KitchenAid away. All right, while we before we do that, I just want to show you. These are our molds that we've greased. So we're gonna do it one more time, and then we're gonna go in with some flour as well. Some people say to brush upwards to help the souffle rise.
And then what you do is Lloyd's going to find some flour because you've got to leave the portion out. And then flour in there. And you want to, can you guys see? Flour. Make sure you tap it around. Tap off the extra. That's why I'm using a tray so that it kind of catches everything. I'm still here. Sorry about that. How are you feeling? Beauty and the Beast. So we're doing some cheese souffle. Um, it's like a really airy, light cheese dish. It's a French dish. And then we're also doing some beef ragu. It's a slow cooked beef. It's been in the slow cooker for about six, six or seven hours. And then we've made some cookies and cream and cheesecake that have just come in the oven. They're just cooling in the fridge. All right, so there are prepared molds, guys. And now, 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 take this out of the water, put it aside. I found a new spatula, so we, it's all good. All right, so we're mixing some of the egg white in here first. So we can take a scoop. And we're going to mix that through. So folding is bringing the top bottom to the top, like this. Really gentle. My favorite Disney movie, have you seen it? I haven't had a good chance because we had issues with our internet. I wanted to watch it before this stream, Debbie. Had some issues. Hey Google, what's 350 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 350 degrees Fahrenheit equals 176.667 degrees Celsius. Make sure it's on the right setting. All right, so now we're putting, we were talking, did you do that? Yeah, I did. So then, now we're putting the cheese mixture into the egg white mixture. All right, now the real. Now it's time to be gentle. Molly doesn't do gentle or patient really well, so okay. Super, am I doing okay? Being really gentle, guys. I know you just want to mix it, but you want to aerate the cheese sauce. With the egg whites, and you don't want to break the egg whites up too much. You don't want to ruin all that beautiful work you've done. Okay. Now we're going to get... A metal spoon and scoop them into these souffle molds, okay? And our oven's preheated, that's the most important thing. And the bigger the souffle, the better. Doesn't matter what they look like as long as they're big and they're puffy. gentle, wide sweeping motions, yes. So you can do cheese souffle, you can do chocolate souffle, and it's all about the egg. Alright. 
oven time, I think. And the chef that I was watching last night said to put some grated cheese on the top because that creates like a, a really nice casing on top. So what happens is the egg, um, it stops the moisture from being uh, released and it traps in the air. So what's happening is you put the cheese, a little bit of cheese on top and it melts and then it, the egg rises and then it stops and then the egg rises and it's like a little parachute. So nervous. I'm so nervous. I just want to take a photo to make sure, show you what they look like. My first attempt at cheese souffle. All right, in the oven, 350 degrees Celsius, 180, uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. You want to be so gentle. Ready? And the most important thing I was told is don't open the oven. Even if you think they're ready, don't open the oven just yet. Ooh, let's, now it's the waiting game. Oh my gosh. All right, and you want to bake for about 40 minutes. Oh my gosh. Hey Google, set alarm for 25 minutes. Okay, your alarm set for 1.12 p.m. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, let's check out these cheesecakes. Not cool enough yet, so let's do the mash. So these are our potatoes. We're going to strain them off. I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm gonna call you Thonto. Thon. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Thon. I'm gonna call you Thon. Thon's easier. Welcome to Miss Molly Max. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. We're just making some mashed potatoes. I'm trying to find my silicon mat to put my my hot saucepan on the mat, but it's gone missing. Oh, there it is. Making some mashed potato for our beef ragu. How are you today? So potatoes, you want to start nice starchy potato in my opinion. And just mash, mash, mash. This is the best masher because it gets right in the corner, in the sides. Good. Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. Where are you from? Where in the world are you from? That looks like a Greek name. Do you, are you Greek? Oh, these potatoes are making me hot. They're really steamy. He's steamy in the Miss Molly kitchen today. What is the time? 12.50. So we are doing a, for our new viewers, we're doing a Beauty and the Beast themed cook. It's our show when we do themed food as game, video games, movies, pop culture. So today is Beauty and the Beast. Next week is Harry Potter. We're doing some Harry Potter themed food. Uh, last week, a few weeks ago, we did Wonder Woman. We've done Game of Thrones. making sure there's no lumps 
don't want any lumps in your potatoes. And I'm gonna go in with some, some butter. But, but, butter. Okay. This is some fancy butter. This is cultured butter. And I think we should do some this leftover cheese, hey? Everyone has their own opinion how to make mashed potato. And I have mine. Mine is really good potatoes. Starch your potatoes, mash them, I boil them uh, until they're soft. Mash them with some butter, a little bit of cream as well. Um, and what else? We add salt and pepper. You can add some chives if you like. We have some chives in the fridge, we might add some chives. Bit of cream and the starch in the potato is gonna keep it all together oh, hard work Make sure our beef bread is nice and warm. Warm it up. So you want lots of salt and pepper. These are my automatic pepper and salt grinders. I like lots of salt and pepper. Nice and creamy, nice and light. Can you see? Very, very good. Very tasty. I might actually put some. See, Brown. How does it smell, Exceed? Cheesy. Alright. How should we plate? Big regular today. Mm -hmm. Anyway, do it. Hello. Welcome back. Just plating up our beef ragu with our mash. of mash make a little hollow in the middle because so it can sit in there I hang out in Danielle's stream from time to time thought I'd come and say hello gotta go for now I'll be back thank you thanks for popping by we'll see you later it's pretty nice to have you here So we have beef ragu with some baby carrots. Mm, I just want to tell you not to give up. Continue streaming like that and you'll get more viewers. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. We're trying a different time, so it's normal to have a lower view account, but thank you, I appreciate that.
Yum, yum, yum. So I went to get the cute little baby ones with the, you know, the green, like the stems and everything, but they didn't have them at the store. So I had to get small, they still got baby potatoes, um, baby carrots, but they're not as cute. So I had to cut them in little sticks. All right, how are we going to garnish? That looks amazingly delicious. Put some, I think we need some more sauce on there. And then we're gonna garnish with Really hearty dish, just like our meatballs with, you know, nice and warm, good for winter. I know it's summer over where you guys are, but. We get some parsley. There we go, there's our beef ragu, slow cooked in the slow cooker for about six to eight hours. We have a base of potato mash. The potato mash is made with potato, of course. Uh, we've got some butter, some cream, a little bit of cheese just mashed in there. Um, so it's nice and smooth. We've made a base, we've made a little hole in the middle. We've put our slow cooked meat. So it's a slow cooked rump. Um, in the slow cooker, we've added some red wine, some beef stock, garlic, onion, um, a bouquet garni, so a, a tea bag um, type of thing with some parsley, some bay leaves, and also some thyme. Uh, we added some baby carrots and that's it. Slow cooked it. We finished it off by thickening the sauce with a little bit of corn flour and reduced it over time and served it with some parsley. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. I think it is cheesecake time. Let me have a little peek at those souffles. Oh. They're puffing, they look so cute. They're working. All right. Our baby cheesecakes. We're going to whip some cream. And we're going to add some icing sugar. Icing sugar will help it keep its shape a little bit when we when we pipe it and we whisk it. All right, let me find my mixer. I don't want to do dishes, so I have this hand mixer that is perfect. So we put our beaters in. I'm gonna mix this cream. I'm gonna mute the mic, everybody.
And we're back. All right, so we just whipped the cream and the icing sugar. We're gonna mix in the leftovers of the, the cookies. Where do I put them? Gonna make it into like a grey colour because one of the most famous parts in the movie is the grey stuff. All right, let me get a piping bag. have a plain piping bag oh this is that fancy one this is not the one I wanted but it's so good hmm hold on I'll be back need to get the right piping bag you how to do is get a normal Ziploc bag and what we're going to do is cut out a corner cut the corner like that we've got a coupler or we might just go in with the tip so that it fits and you have to be really gentle because it's a bag um, a plastic bag and then so we've got a bag like that and we'll put the tip in interstellar burst thank you so much for the follow welcome to miss molly makes welcome to the family hfz thank you so much for the bits thank you so much for the bits i really appreciate it Welcome to the show. The house is smelling like cheese souffles. They're in the oven. Ahoy! Okay, we're just finishing off our cheesecakes. Making them look all pretty. Lol. HFC. HFV. Welcome. Welcome, guys. How is everyone? This afternoon, this night time in the US. Okay. Putting the cream in the bag. Okay, have a spoon of cream. Yum. So that's how you make an at-home piping bag, just like that. Before we pipe it, we're gonna take them out of the, the molds. I've never used cheesecakes in these molds before. So let's see. Let's see how hard it is to get it out. Run your knife around. Come out, my friend. Looks like it's coming. Ah! Looks like it's coming. Alright. I still want to break the base. Ready? Cute. Oh, the mold. He's still left in the bottom. Hey, Jeff. Oh no! What's happening with. I think. What's going on with. 
with Streamlabs. It's not working. It's not working. I don't know, Exig will, Exig will work it out. Let me find... I don't know what's happening, guys. I'll leave it on this screen, so then Exig can... Thank you so much for the bits, I really appreciate it. You just want to hear the, the song. <laughs> I love that. Alright, I don't know what's going on this one, this one. So the only reason that I can think of is why the base didn't come out is there wasn't enough butter. These molds are a little bit hard to get out of as well. So you learn, always learning something. Don't use these molds, Molly, they're too hard. Too hard to get out. Thank you, C Brown. Thank you for the lovely bits. Thank you very much. Interstellar, it helps you put a rack on a rack to cool. It's been in the fridge. Interstellar, it's been in the fridge, cooling down. I can let it cool for a bit longer. Oh, that one's better. That one's better. Little cheesecakes. I'll take a few more out and then we'll decorate them. So today, for our new viewers, tonight, today or tonight for you guys, we're doing Game of Grubs. So it's our show where we make food themed as pop culture, movies, games. So today is game, um, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, we're making some cheesecakes as the grey stuff you know, in the movie where she, when she arrives. I think it's the teapot. Says who, who is it that says try the grey stuff? I don't know what it is but it's good. I think that's how it goes. Something like that. haven't had a chance to watch the new movie. I was wanting to watch it before this show, but we've had issues with the internet. Ooh, Luminia. All right. I think we'll do one more. We'll do eight. Eight's a nice even number. We have our cheese souffle in the oven. Whoop. Cheese souffle's in the oven. I'm very scared because like, you can't check the oven to see when they're ready. But I want to see. Oh, you know, if they're ready, if you can't check the oven. This is really. Alright, these are our baby cheesecakes. And then we're just going to go. Candlestick says it. Yes, Interstellar. Thank you. Alright. Now look. I know you're not first peek, but I peeked. Hopefully that doesn't make them screw up about now. But. Mmm. Yum. Okay. Beef ragu with mashed potato. Slow cooked beef with some baby carrots um, on mashed potato. And then we have our grey stuff. We have a cookies and cream cheesecake. So we made these with a chocolate biscuit. You can make them with Oreos or any chocolate biscuit. Just make sure you take the cream filling out. Okay. And then we've whipped some cream with a little bit of icing sugar. And voila. 
All right, I really want to take one of these out. Hey Google, how long left on my timer? Actually, you don't have any timer mm. set at the moment. Hey Google, how long left on my alarm? You have an alarm set for 1.12 p.m. Three minutes. Oh, I just want to sit and watch. Quickly take a photo, and then if it, and if it flattens, then we'll be dead. Hey Google, turn off alarm. Oh, oh set it for when? Hey Google, turn off alarm. Sorry, what time was that? Oh, okay, don't worry. All good. Chaos, hello. I'm still not getting the time. Okay. Just say, for instance, 6:30 p.m. or noon. You can also say never mind. Never mind. No problem. No new alarm set. Um. Hey Google. Thank you. Turn off. Alright. You guys ready? Chaos, we're taking out our cheese souffle. I'm very nervous. take a photo just so that I've got proof. And you're supposed to put a knife in it to make sure that it's all done. Oh, it comes out clean. I'm so chuffed with myself right now. Even though it's on this ugly, like, blue thing, but it actually worked. I'm super impressed by the souffle. <gasps> Corey, hello! Surprise, it's me. Oh my gosh, look, my souffle worked. Let me pick it up and show you. Oh my gosh. Nice top on it. All right, we better have some, we better try it before it, we gotta serve it straight away, it says. I don't think I've ever eaten a souffle though. Oh, wow. Hey Google, do a little dance. Didn't hear you. I don't know. Hey Google, do a little dance. My apologies. I don't understand. She doesn't understand anything. This is so amazing. This souffle is so good. Mmm. It's kind of flattening now, but look. Oh, you can't see because the green screen. It's not even green in it, but it's so good. Oh, guys, I'm so chuffed. I'm so chuffed. I was so, you know how worried I was that this wouldn't work? Mm. It's like eating a cloud. Mm. Google is no fun. Thank you, Cajun, I really appreciate that donation. You know, we're thirty-four percent of our our grocery goal, and I really appreciate it. Um, it keeps us going here at Miss Molly Makes. Uh, keeps us cooking, keeps Molly making. So, thank you. See Brown. Ah, I love that emote. That's cute. Mmm. Mmm. So. 
we have the recipes all planned um, tomorrow. We've changed it around. We're changing our. I'm going to keep eating this. Um, we've changed a little bit of our schedule. So usually Mondays are Miss Molly makes around the world our cuisine, but because we didn't stream last night, we've bumped it back. So tomorrow we're making some buffalo wings. We're making some um, bacon and egg hash. We're gonna have that for our dinner. Um, and then we're also making some protein balls. So some delicious um, snack food, some nice meals. And I've never made buffalo wings before, so I'm very excited. I've bought fresh wings and I'm gonna show you how to de um, debone them. Um, so you've got the three pieces and we're going to uh, create our own little marinade. It's gonna be good. Good, good, good. So, also I'd like some feedback on this time, what you all think. The more regular we, we do this time, like an earlier team um, team time uh, for our US friends, the more viewers I think that will grow and people know that we're streaming at an earlier time. Just I think that it's a little bit unfair to ask you guys to wake up at 5.30 or you know really early in the morning or stay up all night to watch us. So we want to make something that our usual during the week streams will be my night time because it's um, easier for me uh, after work and then also when I have days off we'll decide if we do nighttime or daytime streams so make sure you hit us up on our discord um, someone can put up our uh, socials into the chat and that's American time difference though yeah so we usually I stream at uh, 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and that's around like 3 or 5 o'clock in the morning for the US guys so we want to see what works so you guys can see us at your night time um, and we'll do early streams on my days off and weekends and we'll just have some more chat about it so discord is where we leave all our photos Instagram Conroy I know you see all my Instagram photos um, and I just want to say thank you to our new viewers for our new follows thank you very much um, and if you've liked what you've seen, make sure you keep in, uh, up to date with us on Twitch by following and our socials. And thank you for the donations as usual. Thank you so much, Super, for all your advice and your support. And I really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.